Hey, Tracy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> there he is. Hey, Cap. Good to see you. All right. Thanks. Good to see you all again. This is Angel. How you doing? This is Cap. All right. So, he's in there? Yeah, he in there. I ain't tell him what for. I just told him y'all come by, ask you some questions. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you told him? OK. Yeah. When you asking about his name being James? Right. I didn't know that. His name, because I call him Jay. Jay. Yeah, so oh. when I looked at his application and seen that his name was James Williams. Whoa. So that is his name. OK. Well, let's head on in. Here we go. Hey, man. How you doing? Hello, how are you? Good. Neat. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jay. Yeah. Or James. Huh? Jay. Just Jay. Oh, OK. Didn't get a chance to meet you yesterday, but you let us in. Yeah, no, sorry, yes, sir. Did you, did anyone mention what we were doing around here? I said you were looking for somebody. I think there's a chance you may have been talking to our friend Angel. Do you know? Who she is? No. You don't know who she is? No, I do not. She's been talking to someone in Valdassa. She's become very close with him. And he said he worked here. And a couple things sort of point us to you. But your name is James Williams, right? My legal name. Yeah. Yeah, how do you know my legal name? The number that Angel's been texting and talking to is registered to James Williams. And Cap confirmed that that's also your name. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it's you that Angel's been talking to. OK. Yes. Right. Yes. OK, so that is you. Yes. So you've been calling yourself Antonio. Yes. I need a break. All right. I think you can understand why she might be upset. Yes, I can understand. Okay. I'm going to go with Angel. Okay. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Obviously, you're not the guy in the photos. Angel's very invested in this, both yeah. emotionally and financially, uh. and you have not been honest with her. No, I have not. She, I think, deserves to know what's up. You OK? That's his voice. That's him? Yes. I'm sorry. For him to like pretend that he didn't even know you is so stupid. I want to sit down and get answers of why. Are you ready to go back in and talk to him? Yeah. OK. You're taking money from Angel. That was offered to me. It was never my intention. Well, OK, but she's offered because you suggested you needed money. I was just telling her what I was going through. I know, but she sent you almost $400. And when she sent it to you, you took it. Yes. We kind of wanted to sit down so we can get some answers. I think Angel's ready. Can we just set some chairs up? Uh -huh. Do you remember sending her to the Verizon store? Yeah, that was my best account. Oh, nice shot. But why can't you just pay your bill? I wasn't able to make it to the store that day, honestly. Do you even have a daughter? Yes, I have a daughter. I can show you pictures of her. How many women do you think you've catfished? That's quite a few. More than 10? Yes. More than 40? Yes. More, 100? More than that. More than what? More than 100? Yes. Over how many years? Since I was like 19. That's 15 years? Yes. Wow. Why did you tell me that you love me? Like, are your feelings even real, or were you just saying that? I honestly love you as a person, honestly. But no, romantically. Why say it to me? You really led me on to believe like you were somebody like that I could make a future with. It was just basically a game. No, it's not a game for me. Do you feel bad? Yes, I do feel bad. That's hard to believe. 
when you admit that you've been doing this for 15 years to hundreds of women, like, yeah. it just sounds like you're a con artist. It's never about the money for me. If it's not about the money, then why send a picture of Antonio in the hospital and say, if I don't, if he doesn't get money, he's gonna... If you love me, you would send the money. If you love my friend, you would send the money. Those are messages I don't remember, honestly, I don't. She remembers. Every story that I told you, I was just telling you what I was going through at that time. And I didn't ask you that money. We offer. You gave her your cash app information. Right. So you are asking for money if you're getting- She asked. No, like I said, I would have to see because I was going through things that I had to pay for. And you got upset if I couldn't help. I'm a single mother. You know, like I barely have money. I've literally sent you my last $10 and I went without. I honestly don't recall that message that you're talking about. I honestly don't. But the intention is no one to see how many more. But that's not true. Because you've talked to hundreds of people. Here goes nothing. Right in there. What's your name? Shaquan. Shaquan. Hi. Devin. What's up? Apparently, you guys we, yeah, we know, know each, each other. other. So y'all know each other? And were you guys friends, or? We were, pretty, we, were, we were friends, yeah. Did anything ever happen? Occasionally. Oh. OK. Did you know he lives here? Yeah. You mentioned that you have one friend who lives in This is your that friend? Yes. That's crazy. So when did you guys last see each other? Last time I came out to Vegas. August. All right, so hold on a second. Here's what I don't understand. You guys had a physical relationship. Why would you have a fake identity? I wanted to see how he was doing, but every time I try to talk to him, he doesn't respond. Is that true? Yeah. I just, yeah. You never really thought that it was a relationship there between, gotcha. Did you ever make it clear kind of where you were at with things? I mean, if I don't text you back, why wouldn't that give him that hint? You can't just beat a dead horse that's already dead. It's, it's up. But if the horse is dead, everybody can say the horse is dead. Sounds like Shaquan is saying he never got the scoop that the horse was dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I'm tired of this. Tell us then, in your own words, what was the plan? Well, you texted him to hang out as James, and then if you come to Vegas, and James wouldn't show up, he probably texted me to me he's here and not show up. Oh, wait a second. So you thought, I'll make a profile as this guy James. I'll invite him to come meet me in Vegas. And then when he gets here and James doesn't show up, he'll text you because he knows you live here and you'll just sort of come to the rescue. Yeah. You had a plan, though. He that, did have plans. I gotta tell you, that hey. is actually a decent plan. Hey, if it wasn't wrong, I, I would come down to like you thought about some stuff at least. So then wait a second. Dang, so bruh. When you made the profile, why did you choose that guy? Yari. He somebody I met. Someone you actually met? Yeah. He sent me photos of Snapchat, but then I sent those as you. Regifted. Dude. Yeah. Do you know that Devin follows that guy on Instagram? I didn't find that out until like a week later. So it was just a total coincidence that you picked the picture of a guy that Devin actually follows on Instagram. That's crazy. I just wanted to know if he just didn't like me as a person or my face. That shouldn't matter. What you did wasn't cool and you shouldn't have lied. I understand that. At the same time, like, he likes you. Mm -hmm. And he got a chance to show you a side of him that maybe you would not have otherwise have seen that you really liked. That's that's fine and everything, but I'm just not into him enough to be in a relationship with him. That's it. But any right person would understand that way before now. But you've been physical with him, so I can see how it could be a little confusing. 
But he don't say anything. I don't know anything. One of these houses coming up. Here, this is it, I think. Oh, uh, no. What is that? Okay. Strange. No one's ever waiting for us in the driveway. Uh, uh, exactly. My heart is racing out of control, but. All right. Yeah. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. Let's go. <laughs> Chicosi. Are you the friend we've been yes. texting who's been helping us find out what's going on? Yes. Chris, he's inside the house right now. He's... But not Chris, Chris. Everything's gonna get explained right. once you meet But the person Shakina's been talking to is in there. Yes. Do they know you're, we organized this? Yes. Um, Y'all just gonna follow me over okay. here? Okay. Yeah. Before we do this, Kenan, I just really want you to know. Yeah. I love you. Chris love you. Um, he love you more than any other girl he ever talked to. He's really into you. And I hope that you all go easy on him. What is going on? Why did she say I love you? That Chris loves you. That That's I weird. You've never talked to her, right? No, 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 no. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. Are you gentle on him? Is she the catfish? Can't tell if the door is it's the opening. The door keeps or... opening and closing. <sighs> so, whatever happens, I'm, I'm going to say what I have to say. This doesn't feel good. <laughs> Hello? I don't know. I'm They're ready. ready, okay. Or is no. that no? Okay. What so, is your name? Johnisha. Johnisha. But you've been Chris this whole time. Yeah. And maybe you a little bit. No. No. I have been involved. Um, Shakina, you know me as Betty. Who's that? Chris's friend. Okay. So why would you lie? Why would you do that? Why would you put somebody else's face on Facebook? I mean, when you first inboxed me, when we first started talking, it was just a joke. Like, I wasn't, like, really trying to mm -hmm. do all that. I was in a relationship with you, talking to you. That's different. Yeah. Hold on a second. How long have you had the profile? A lot of years. I started when I was, like, probably in 10th grade. And how old are you now? I'm 22. Mm -hmm. OK, so it's been a while. How many people are you talking to the same yeah. way that you were talking to Shakina? Not that many. For as long as her? Probably longer. Longer? Yeah. Wow. And in a romantic way? I mean, sometimes, yeah. And do they think you're Chris Brown? Yeah, some, some of them do. So the entire time you've been talking to Shakina, You've also been talking to other people, Takoya and a few others yeah. at least. Mm -hmm. You were collecting photos from her, explicit photos. Were you collecting photos from other people? No. <sighs> but you'd realize that that's not OK. Um, I can't, it's just, can't explain. I'm sorry. I just have a hard time believing you when you stand there and not show any kind of emotion. And you've known about this. You've even participated. At some point, did you ever tell her, like, you got to stop? This um, isn't cool. When I found out she was doing it, I was, you know, telling her it's wrong. You shouldn't do this stuff like that. But 
you know, I didn't want to end our friendship because of it. Right. Are you attracted to or interested in Shakina? Because she really was in a relationship with Chris. Yeah. Show her your true feelings of how you feel about her. Okay. I don't know. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> hey. How are you? That's good. Good to see you. I know. Good to see you, too. So what's up? I'm Neve. Obviously, we just met. This is Cammy. Nice to meet you, nice Adriana. To meet you um, here we are. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of questions. We spoke to Alicia. And she told us that it was actually her that had been communicating with Caden for the past few months, sort of pretending to be you. Is that true? Yeah. Well, Alicia saw your Instagram through. She has access to my feed, number one. We were best friends. I mean, it's not. She has access to your account. Yeah. And then she saw your feed through there and was like, oh, he's really cute. And then she asked me about you. And then I told her who mm -hmm. you were, met you on a cruise. She messaged you without my knowledge. I didn't know that it got to the extent that it did. She let me know that it happened. And when she did, it was like, she downplayed it a lot. She was like, oh, it was like only a one-time thing. I was just trying to like, I don't know, see if the vibe was there. And I was like, oh, OK, it was like a little odd. But I mean, she's like, I'm just feeling it out, you know, just, I don't know. She thought you were cute. So I was like, this is my friend. I guess I'll support it. I didn't know that she was doing it so frequently. How could you not tell me? I mean, how long have I been talking to Alicia? It's been on and off. So when Alicia asked you about Caden, mm -hmm. you said you guys were good friends. Yeah. So for all these years, that's the extent of how you feel? Or do you feel more than that? No, we're good friends, yeah. I mean, we were very young when we met, and we only spent like maybe, I don't know, not even like a full day together. So it was, we didn't really know each other enough for me to actually like have feelings or feel any type of way. To him, sort of felt like could be the beginning of a young romance. <laughs> he said you guys like, I know this sounds corny to say, but like held hands. I have no recollection of holding hands or being affectionate in any way. So you didn't feel sparks? I didn't. Does that sound honest? I mean, I'm not saying you're lying. No. I'm just like, for all these years, you had no idea that he had feelings for you? I don't know. Is, is, that, is he blowing this out, out of proportion, or are you trying to downplay it? The way he tells the story, he's like super into you. And... That's not, I didn't pick up on it. Um... I mean, every once in a while, there was lighthearted, flirtatious messages. But I mean, I feel like I didn't reciprocate. I don't know if that is. Can you acknowledge that? Mm hmm. Um, kind of. Yeah? OK. Yeah, I mean. But I've got to say, beyond all that, to me, it's odd to just have friends you know, taking over your social media accounts and talking to people on your behalf, especially you know, considering your page and your following. I would think that you wouldn't want somebody who's potentially having conversations outside of your knowledge with other people. I guess it's just, I think it's just the trust factor. I mean, look, after all these years, it feels a little weird to me that you wouldn't be a bit more empathetic to Caden, knowing that, like, you know, this relationship maybe meant a little bit more to him, but that also for the past few months, like, has been sort of falsely perpetuated by your friend through your account with your knowledge. like. No, I definitely, I do apologize for whatever she had said. Why didn't you say something to him? Why didn't you, like, clear it up? Alicia's more of a friend to me, and I felt like my, that's where my loyalty lies. Do you have a boyfriend? I do. Mm-hmm. Is it Michael? Michael, yeah. How long have you guys been together? Uh, we're going on seven months. Yeah, a little bit. What do you think the chances are that we can talk to Alicia? Because we've been trying to. Oh, really? I could definitely hit her up. Let's see if you guys can all meet. OK, that would be great. I should probably get back to work. OK, bye. Thanks. Nice to Thanks. meet you. See you. 
It just feels very... Cold. There's just a way that you handle people yeah. on an empathetic level. Right? That she just didn't give she, a I about. feel like she would have come out and been like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. She just brushed that off her shoulder like it was nothing. And I mean, three years, or four years. I don't know how that can turn into nothing. It's all a little weird. Hey! Armani? Yeah. All right. Come on out. Hello. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Good, yeah. nice to meet you. Can I get a hug? Hey, How are you doing? Good. Oh, can I get another hug? I missed you. <laughs> oh? Hello. Tamila. It's Tamila. I thought it was Tamila. No, it's Tamila. This is Angel. Sorry. Hello. Nice to meet you. Here he is. Hey, babe. Was this what you was expecting? You do have a son mm -hmm. named Drew. Mm hmm. Everything about me is true. Every single thing I told you. So, for, I guess that picture. You started the Armani page four or five years ago. Mm hmm. And you used a picture of some girl. Do you know who that is, or? I mean, what made you want to pick that picture? Because she was flea. She was flea on that picture. Like, were you ever going to text him and say, hey, I'm not the girl you see in the pictures? Uh, eventually, but it's not what you fell in love with, the picture or me. You know, mentally and emotionally, we had a good connection. But then I thought you were, like, the person in that picture. So I like the physical appearance, too. Yeah. Right, and you thought I was just this light-skinned girl. Five years. I'm dark skin, I ain't light like skin. Not just that, I mean, the picture know. thing. What he's pissed about right, is that, that like, I pretended to be you pretended her? to be someone else. She didn't say, I only like light skinned girls. That's his type, though. <laughs> you seem pretty lighthearted about the whole situation. <laughs> this baby, this is the one you don't like. I don't even know. <laughs> she been on my page, inbox of him. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> So that who the heck is Deshaila? Deshaila, she got the house. You guys have sort of been in on it together for a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, since high school. <laughs> when I used to talk to other boys on Facebook, she always had to cover for me so I could look kind of sort of real. Y'all should see her inbox, but um, <laughs> it's real. Oh, it's amazing, though. I, I don't know. really think that <laughs> is petty. <laughs> He's not living his life because you guys are with him on the internet. It's not fair. It's petty. He, he didn't block us off. You do your basketball. Yeah, but he doesn't date girls. He doesn't do anything because he's wrapped up in a telephone conversation with I mean, you, pretending to be someone else. True. No love. No love lost. Except all of it. Can we talk? Just like take a two second break? Okay, let's, let's just go regroup. You're being very sweet and hugging her and you actually feel like you're cool and that you want to be friends with her? Just seeing how she was kind of just okay with the whole little situation. It's something that happens every day or something. It's a joke. She said that was his girlfriend. Who is that? Ah, she got me messed up. She tried to treat it off like a oh, boom. I heard you. Bitch, I'm gonna smack your ass. Oh, damn. We're wired. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> okay, I'll walk over. You guys want to come over, chat a little bit more? Is this where you live? Oh, it's my cousin's house. I couldn't go to my house because all the kids there and stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's all you want to say, Harold? If it's cool, why don't you guys just talk a little bit? Most of your relationship, it's just been you guys anyway. Baby, you want to come chat with us for a minute? Mm-hmm. I get another hug. You don't want to nope. hug me no more. Wow. Now it's just like all sinking in. Why is your friend so insecure? This takes it all the way back to high school, you know. She used to try to talk to boys, they didn't want to talk to her, so. Anyways. Hey, can I still get my 20? <laughs> oh, so you chicken, huh? I don't need it. Boy, please. Can I walk away from him? Bye. I'm about to go over here. Why'd you walk away from her? Because he said something I didn't like. <laughs> she yeah. want to give me 20 minutes of mm -hmm. 
No, he. Yeah. <laughs> what? Right. Nothing. What? You did something we talked about before. <laughs> okay. You still my bae? I don't know about that. Yeah. I... What? He's just now finally finding out a big part of who you are. Maybe for the moment, we should just chill out, figure something out for tomorrow or something. Sounds good. <sighs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, baby. <laughs> I'm not shaking his hand. He made me mad. Okay. See Bye. you later, ladies. What's up? What's up? How you doing? What's going on? How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, <laughs> this is Matthew, as you know. What's up, Matt? What's going on? Yep. Uh, so I know this is not easy for you, and I appreciate you being here. But clearly, we, we are here for, for the main reason, which is that you guys have been talking for a while. And in an effort to clear up any loose ends, your dad did pass away, right? Yes. OK, I'm really sorry. Um, yes. I can understand not wanting to deal with all this right now. I'm doing all right. That's good. So, we have some questions. Yeah. You'd been in Atlanta a few times. Yeah, I was yeah. in Atlanta for a few times visiting my girlfriend. Sharanda, you guys are, are together. exclusive. Yes, we are. So... Which came as a bit of a surprise to Matthew, because you never mentioned having a girlfriend. I mean, you should have, like, kind of figured it out. Figured it out? Is it crazy that Matthew was under the impression that there was attraction and, and, and a potential for something to happen between you guys? Well, through text and stuff, like, it, like every day we'll send, like, little stuff here and there. It's a, you know, I do that with everybody. In my mind, I'm like, oh, when he gets to Atlanta, maybe it could be something more, or we can get to know each other more, you know? Who knows what can, you know, transpire once he gets to Atlanta. Well, I mean, you should have, like, kind of got the hint when you would send me, like, messages, like, and I wouldn't really respond to it. But you did neglect to say that you had a girlfriend. True. <sighs> Just feels weird to me, because, like, if you live in New York, and you're talking to someone who lives in Atlanta, and you're talking pretty often, and then you tell him you're going to come down to Atlanta and you want to see him. Yeah, like, like I, to me, it, that sounds like you are giving very clear signals that you well, like that person. You're, you're saying, like, I want to see him. I'd be like, you know, we should meet up. Well, you sure. Know, don't, don't say it like, well, don't say it like that. OK, well, why don't we go inside and sit? And yeah, please. And, right, and, right, yeah, let's, and let's do that. OK, well, yeah, man, well, hold us. Wait one second. Kimiko, you go in and set, settle in for a second. OK. I just don't feel like he's being fair. Mm -hmm. And like, kind of making it almost feel like I gave you signals, like, what is that? That's bull I just don't want to see you let him, like, Run over. Just yeah, just sort of like disregard all the yeah. that, that you felt and that he said and that like happened because like he doesn't want to admit that he had feelings yeah. for you. You weren't romantically involved with Matt at all? Uh, no. I mean we saw some text messages and it seemed pretty flirty back and forth. I wasn't it wasn't like that at all. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to date a dude. So you don't date men at mm -hmm. all? Oh, OK. No. We were under the impression that you were bisexual. That's not true. He lied. That's not true. OK. You know, now I'm mad about that, because that's. I didn't mean to make you mad. That's not like. Yeah. Well, I just don't feel like we're getting the whole story. Yeah, there's something going on. But it's just, right. how do we? Get that, how, I'm like, how do I get that out of him? Right. All right, let's see what he has to say. All right. Much better in here. Mm hmm. Mm. So, you telling these people that I'm bisexual, Matthew? Well, I know in the past you've dated men and I don't, women. I mean, if Matthew, I'm just really upset about you giving these people think, having them think that I'm bisexual is kind of coming off confusing. You would do like the hard eyes. Right, the hard eyes or 
Yeah, and I mean, all that, and that was like kind of drawing me in even more. Listen, I'm never gonna date you. Why then were you talking to him at all? This is the first time it's been clear to you that he likes yes, you? This is the first really? time. Yep. Wow. It seems there's a couple issues here that amazingly hadn't been brought up until now. One is that you're not bisexual, but you were having a very flirtatious relationship. You're intentionally not mentioning a girlfriend when you could easily because you're trying to kind of maintain a, a possible no. romantic relationship. No, I, you know, I blocked you on Instagram, dude. And it's like... But that was only recently. Whatever, but... You seem upset. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting that because, like, if, if the worst thing this guy has done has been really liked you and, like, hoped to be in a relationship with you, then, like, can you be a little nicer to him? And, like, I'm, not, I'm being nice no, to I him. No, I feel like you're I not do. being nice to him, which is weird because, like, What's the big deal? He, so he, so he's a crush on you. He's a catfish himself. You are. And how am I a catfish? You know how you're a catfish. How? I mean, you're not a catfish at all. No. So what is this? What is it? Oh, oh my god. Oh god. wow. Wow. Like what the that is. I never told you I dated men. But that's nobody's business. Hi. Tracy, right? Yeah. How you doing? Good. Are you kidding me? So, I'm here with someone you might recognize. Oh my gosh. Ew. <laughs> I don't like her. She's still all of Jacqueline Linkwood's friends. She just say you stole Jacqueline Linkwood's friends? She said you stole Jacqueline Linkwood's friends. So I heard that correctly. I think it'd be good if we all came in to talk. OK, fine. She can come in. Why don't you guys come in? Hello. Hey. Hi, I'm Max. And Tracy. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> okay, so you seem relatively chipper. Yeah, I'm always cheerful. It's just my personality. Are you putting on an act right now? Or no, is this is really me. This is really you? This is really me when I'm me. I'm just completely <laughs> energy. I work with kids, so. Like in a daycare? Yeah. OK. They love me so much. They're like my best friends. They're like my little puppies. They're so cute. Obviously, you, you understand why we're here. You admitted that you created this profile. So we were hoping to hear a little bit more about that. I was bored with my life, so I wanted to be someone else. Right. Like, the whole Jacqueline Lincoln thing was like, Miley Hannah, you know, Tracy by day. On the internet, I was Jacqueline by night. Is that Hannah Montana? Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah. That's how, like, I, like, did everything. Like, I come home from school, bang, I'm Jacqueline, not Tracy anymore. How old were you when you started doing that? I was 14 in middle school. So now you're about 20. 20 today. 20 today, oh, that's right. Yeah. That's your birthday. What could you do as Jacqueline that you couldn't do as Tracy? Oh my gosh, um, I don't know. As Jacqueline, I could talk to anyone I wanted and like bully people and stuff. It all comes back to when people bully me. So like I have to bully other people to, to get revenge. But why take out what people do to you on other people who didn't do anything to you? Because they bullied me too. Like people, they're like, you're fake, you're fake. But you, but you were, were fake. fake. But they didn't know that. A lot of people don't like Felicia because they <laughs> associate her with your Profile. I really don't like Felicia. I think she deserves it. She thinks she's a model and she thinks she's all that. I'm still mad at her. Jacqueline is popular. She had all that popularity and Felicia ruined it. That's why I don't really like her. Should I, I apologize mean, for ruining that? Yeah. Because I, I'm sincerely <laughs> yeah. sorry. Jacqueline was like a real person. Well, she wasn't a real person. I was the real person. <laughs> Do you take drugs? Drugs. I never took a drug in my life. I'm just naturally happy and hyper. Just out of curiosity, I was wondering why you seem so proud of this. Because, like, I created Jacqueline Quinn and I'm proud of creating her. I'm proud of it. It really helped me. When I got to bully people online, I felt so tough. And what if someone you cyberbullied killed themselves? Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> I wouldn't cry. Like, would you want me to cry? It's not my fault they killed themselves. They made that choice themselves, so it's their fault, not mine. 
Maybe people really did that because you told them to. That could have been the trigger. That doesn't bother you. It's, it does not bother me. It's not my fault. I did not hold a gun to their head saying, go kill yourself. Yeah, but, but some people that have really low self-esteem. Well, I have a high self-esteem. Look, yeah. this, this is relatively pointless, what's going on right here. Am I done with her? Yeah, I mean, okay, we're done good. for now. We're all done okay, for now. Good. Yeah. Felicia, are you going to say happy birthday? <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. <laughs>